Hi everyone, today we go going to make salmon deep fry but actually it's gonna coat with tomato sauce This is one of the best recipes that I'm so proud of Very easy, simple and quick Usually we make this for everyday um, eating Plus when we have a party, I also make something like this uh, for everyone to enjoy So let's get cooking Salmon! I got two pieces of salmon right now. Um, I don't mind to deal in with the bone. If you guys doesn't like the bone in it, you know, you can actually buy the fillet, the one that already take out the bone for you already to be safe. Um, but I got these two pieces right here. And what are we going to do? Very simple marinade before we actually can fry them. So over here, I will use about a, a pinch of MHG. If you're not a big fan of MHG, you can skip this part. And I will use half teaspoon of salt. The one I'm using is pink salt, but you can use regular table salt. It's fine. Just make sure that you know your fish um, get all the salt all over the place, like evenly. Black pepper. You can rest the fish in your fridge for like 10-15 minutes before you cook or just in the room temperature is fine. I will use just about one cooking onion, one salad, and of course three beautiful handful of tomatoes. Um, any kind of tomato will work but you want to choose the tomato to be really red um, because it's going to give you that color. And not just the color but the juiciness from the tomato uh, come out. Oh, that's what you're looking for. So don't you, you know, of course not green but don't even want to use the uh, orange and um, yellow yet. You want to make sure you use the red, red one. So. I cut tomato in half. Uh, usually, I just take this piece out, and then right here, I will go like this. And you turn, and you go like this. Usually, I cut them in half. Just easier to clean. You cut this pea out, right? And there you go. So I cut into like this side first. Turn it and cut on this side. So you want to cut them into a small cube, kind of like trying to make them kind of even to each other. I'll peel this one out and uh, slide them out um, in a smaller side of it because this onion have a much stronger flavor. Set them aside, everything ready to cook. So I start them with high heat. Again, make sure your frying pan is actually heat up before you actually pour uh, the oil into this. I'm using uh, canola oil, you can use uh, sunflower oil, cooking, any kind of like cooking oil, um, but try to avoid um, olive oil because the flavor is very strong. Uh, when you fry, you know, your protein, um, it's just gonna make your meat, your fish too heavy. Um, so using cooking oil, uh, vegetable oil, either sunflower oil, you know, all that type of oil uh, for your frying. Before I fry the salmon, usually I'm gonna um, coat them very light cornstarch. 
uh, flour, you can use all-purpose flour, um, tapioca flour. The purpose that we use in the flour to coat the fish is to reduce that how to say when you put something that have a little bit of water, or um, especially the fish or the meat, you want to avoid that, you know, the oil to jump all over the place. <laughs> um, so that's what we use for. But the cornstarch or, or you know, all purpose flour, when you coat very light coat on your protein before you uh, fry them, it's also gonna give you that crispiness uh, as well. You can use um, a little bit of oil. I like to use more oil because I want my fish to be completely uh, covered. I'm gonna have another frying pan right here ready. Turn the heat on high. This will be the uh, frying pan that I'm going to make um, the satay sauce. You know the sauce to actually just dress right on top of our salmon after we cook, deep fry them. Our oil is ready, so reduce them to medium high, and here come our fish. Slowly put them in there. Our salmon gonna cook really quickly. Um, I would recommend to cook like about two to three minutes on each side only at a medium high heat. Over here, I will use about one spoon um, of cooking oil in here. When your oil is already heat up, I'm gonna put my salad, uh, sliding salad onion in here first. Just serve them and wait for them to about to turn golden. It doesn't have to be golden and then I will put my next um, onion into it. Beautiful! Alright, here come the rest of our onion. It starts to turn in a bit of golden already. This is when I would put my tomato into it. So after you cover with the lid, just about two to three minutes, you can see all the tomato is like soft now. And it's so easy, like, uh, to press and you will have that beautiful sauce and color tomato sauce is really easy and quick to cook um, and it gives you that rich oh so like yummy color mm -mm. just um, a pinch tiny bit of MSG teaspoon of sugar another pinch of salt of uh, hoisin sauce last but not least one teaspoon of fish sauce put on high heat for another minute and our sauce is ready. Fish is ready. Turn it off. You would use something to drain all the oil out. I just use my uh, spoon with the hole and just hold for like 30 seconds. Most of the oil is gonna come out. Here we go.
let eat. Usually I will make this and then for the family to have dinner uh, and then we eat them with rice. Um, you know, usually I remember I go to uh, my sister-in-law for Christmas and I make this and everyone would like, oh my God, we love this so much. <laughs> so I almost make them eat every single year. Uh, but they, they really, really enjoy it. Uh, salmon is very easy to cook and quick to cook, right? Uh, and you can eat them on its own. You can eat them with vegetable, especially with rice and the sauce all go together. It's ama amazing. Look at oh, how juicy they are. Look at that. See, you just need a little bit of sauce. Oh. Amazing.